Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. In today's video, we're looking at the top 10 best Boros Commanders in MTG. Starting off the list, we have Tiana, Ship's Caretaker. From the 2018 set Dominaria, we are stacking our decks with equipment because this flying first strike angel lets you put any that are put into a graveyard back into your hand at the beginning of the next end step. That's so much protection from those usually easily removed equipment. Then fill your deck with those equipment loving creatures like Shram and Danitha, cheapen the costs of those aura and equipment and get some card draw off it too. We'll whack out the Gathering the Magic Always Trusty card of the deck award nice and early this time and we're giving it to Sigardia's Aid. For a single white mana we're giving all of our auras and equipments flash which is absolutely key in this deck. That is some spicy spicy stuff. Now before we get to number 9, make sure you drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button for all things MTG, including a booster box opening in the next few days. And check out our link tree in the description for all of our social media and affiliate links. Next up we have Brian Stoutarm. From all the way back in Lorwyn, this legendary giant warrior is all about sacking those creatures. For Brian, we're packing that deck full of those big beefy creatures as when you sacrifice a creature, Brion deals damage to target player equal to that sacrificed creature's power. Brion is lifelink too, so you'll have the added bonus of gaining life while smacking your opponents in the face. Cards like Soul of Eternity and Serra Avatar are key in this deck, having their power equal to your life total, which in Commander you'd hope would be fairly high, and soon enough your life total will be in triple figures. Make sure to have plenty of ramping options in this deck, as with all those powerful creatures, you'll be needing lots of mana at your disposal. And lastly, make sure you're whacking that always essential Aether Flux Reservoir in your deck, because with all that life, you may as well have that endgame option to freak out your opponents. Next up on the list, we have Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight, and we have another Angel. Originally from Avacyn Restored, this Angel may cost 7 CMC, but it does so much. Firstly, stack your deck with all those damage pingers, because with Gisela, that damage is doubled. Get in those cards like Fiery Emancipation and Dictate of the Twin Gods, double or triple down on that double damage that Gisela is already doing and just go wild. And if you're feeling it, go Angel Tribal. Get in all of those angels that usually have Flying, Lifelink, Vigilance and more and you'll have a big army ready to swoop over your opponents before you know it. Especially if you have Herald of War in there who will gradually cheapen the cost of all those angels. For the next Boros Commander we have Iroas, God of Victory. Yes, it wouldn't be a top 10 list without a God card. Iroas is a beast that gives all your creatures menace and prevents damage to your attacking creatures. Instantly, I'll be adding all those creatures that create more creatures when you attack, as your attacking creatures are protected by Iroas, so you might as well create even more creatures. You're going to be creating a super wide army, so you're going to be wanting to play all those cards that really benefit attacking, and Cathar's Crusade is an absolute must. With every creature ET being, you may as well find a way to keep boosting every other creature in your army. And finally, just whack in a load of enchantments that will boost your attack army even further. Give them all various abilities, and soon they will be absolutely unstoppable. Next up on the list we have Akiri, Fearless Voyager. An equipment loving core warrior from last year's Zendikar Rising is already a very popular choice for Commander. With Akiri, you want to be attacking as many people per turn to keep drawing you all those extra cards. Firstly, we're going to be getting in all those creatures who either benefit from being equipped or just love equipment and cheapen the cost for them. Then you're going to fill that deck with tons of powerful equipment attached to your various creatures and then go swinging in at your opponents. For just a single white mana, you can unattach these equipment from your creatures to give them indestructible until end of turn. This is a repeatable ability and one that can be so vital to keep your creatures out there on the battlefield. Such a good commander and one I definitely recommend building a deck around. For the next commander on our list we have Wyleth, Soul of Steel. A new commander from Commander Legends and again another one that revolves around those auras and equipment. A reason this is so popular is not only because it's new but because of the huge potential card draw option it possesses, which especially in Boros colours is pretty rare. We won't talk about it for too long as it's very similar to previous entries on this list, but again, we're filling those deck heavily with all those auras and equipment. But this time, instead of spreading the equipment love, we're stacking it all on Wyleth, getting it super strong and then hopefully drawing 5, 6, 7 or maybe even more cards. A super fun new card 
that if you can find a way to keep protected and keep it on the battlefield will be very fun to use against your opponents. Next up we have Aurelia, the war leader. Another angel, this time originally from Gatecrash, not only has flying, vigilance and haste, but also gives you an extra combat phase each turn. Yes, if you're feeling extra dirty, then fill your deck with loads of those creatures who give extra combat phases and then keep attacking to your heart's content. Again, another option is the always popular Angel Tribal. Get in those angels and a few other creatures that can really benefit all of your other creatures and really overwhelm your opponents. And finally, whack down a few of those instants that give all your creatures indestructible or protection as they're usually cheap to play and common in white and then that gives you that extra advantage over your opponents. For the third best forest commander we have Fire Song and Sun Speaker. Sounding like the next book in the Game of Thrones series, this Minotaur duo from Dominaria love those instants and sorceries. Go wild and fill your deck with them as not only do Fire Song and Sun Speaker give said red instants and sorceries lifelink, but whenever you gain life via a white instant or sorcery, FNS deals 3 damage to target creature or player. As well as that, there are so many artifacts that can benefit this too, with again Aether Flux Reservoir being my personal favourite, because if you're going to be gaining all that much life anyway, you may as well have that end game threat on the table to hit your opponents with. Another Boros Commander that looks super fun to use in the future. Have we been wrong all this time? Is Boros actually cool? <laughs> <laughs> Runner up on the list we have Winota, Joiner of Forces. From Ikoria, this legendary warrior loves all humans and non-humans. Pack your deck with a roughly 50-50 balance of non-humans and humans, as with Winota, whenever a non-human creature attacks, you can look at the top 6 cards of your library and put out a human creature that's tapped and attacking, without paying its mana cost, and is destructible until end of turn. You really want to make this a creature heavy deck that for every non-human creature in there is a human creature to balance out the odds and help you get even more creatures on the battlefield. Then finally, fill out that Winota deck with those Amon Ket monuments that will not only cheapen the cost of the deck, they will also make your opponents lose life and then you can just swing in with that mega army for the win. And coming in as the best Boros commander, we have Feather the Redeemed. Another angel, this time from War of the Spark, has proved incredibly popular with the MTG fanbase. Again, with Feather, we're absolutely packing the deck full of instants and sorceries, as whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets a creature you control, you exile it and then return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. And for Boros, you can see there are just an insane amount of cheap to play instants and sorceries that target your creatures for really cheap. There are also several creatures you can play that really benefit you from playing those instants or sorceries. Creatures that make more creatures, creatures that deal damage to other creatures, creatures that can beef up your creatures and so much more. This is a cheap to play commander that can get out of hand so quickly and become a real danger anytime it appears on the commander table. There we have it, that is the list. Any commanders that you think should have made the list? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button for more top 10 lists, booster box openings and everything MTG. And check out our link tree in the description below to see all our social media and affiliate links. Buy some cards from that link and really help out the channel. For now though, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.